I feel like the most important thing that people need to know about me is it's not about me. That's why there's no face, there's no identity. Like, Drac isn't a person. It's a how-to channel, right? It's not a guy behind it. It's not a personality. It's not like, this is me and this is what I do. It's like, this is what you can do. Every video starts off the same way. It starts off with, hey guys, it's Drac. And then I sit down, all my footage is first person. So I'll look at something, I'll be like, this is a Nerf Elite Alpha Trooper. And start to finish, you're gonna need number one screwdriver, pop, 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 pop. And you put it back together and then all of a sudden it shoots twice as far. And somebody's really excited to own that and have that and play with that. And it's, it's just something really special that you can share with people in five minutes. I got into Nerf freshman year of college. And then there was a game of humans versus zombies at my school. I started off with a really crummy gun and I came back and I set it down in my dorm room and I was like, this is disappointing because I, I used to play paintball and I wanted to just go, go, go. And I was fast, but the gun wasn't. And so I looked over at my toolkit and I was like, maybe. And I cracked it open and I did it. And then of course I show up at the next mission and everybody's like, wow, make mine do that. And so I didn't know what to charge or what it was worth. I just, I enjoyed doing it, frankly. And it got to the point where it was so popular that I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, it doesn't matter what you pay me. I don't have the time, but I'll teach you how to do it. And so I, I put the camera in front of me. I did everything that I was doing at the sign up table and I, I uploaded it to a YouTube channel and I shared it on the Facebook page. I was like, guys, this is how I did it. So you can do it too. Just hit up Lowe's, five bucks, same cause, just you own it now. And they, they shared it with their other Facebook groups and other HVZ people. And like, I went from a channel with like three subscribers to like, in a year it was, it was 10,000. And then it just, it never stopped. And it became this definitive, like, if you want to play, then like, do this to your guns. And it, it became synonymous with nerf modding. And it's, it's flattering and humbling, but it just never saw it coming. So like, nerf appeals to your your Halo 3, your Call of Duty, your that guy wants to go out and everybody secretly wants to be that character because that's what a video game is. It's the experience of like, let's go and be your own kind of action hero. And the nerf is like, let's go. And it, it gets you off the couch, it gets you out. It makes you not like headset friends, but it makes you like real life hugging, shaking hands friends. And it's, it's completely different. It's how people like, pre-internet, pre-computer, pre-video games, like, used to interact, and it's something that I feel like we've lost in society, and these little pockets of nerfdom really help bring that community of people back together and let them have fun with each other instead of by themselves. Like, when I met Rob, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like another pillar of this nerf community who believes in the right thing and the same thing that I do and it was just it was phenomenal because he's been doing it for a while and I was like where were you and Rob is just such a a powerful force in his own nerfing community that he never needed to network out he never found me he just used my stuff and built his own community just like around Thunderdome and around himself and then he finally reached out and I was like, you have a what in your backyard? <laughs> like, wow. And he's just a really cool guy. He's like, I've wanted to meet you forever. I had no idea it would be this easy. I was like, this is my cell phone. I'm just a dude. It was really, really cool. I think that Rob's idea to start other Thunderdomes is correct, fundamentally and truly. And that it's something that the community needs and that his desire to sink money and time and passion and spirit into doing that is important and worth backing. I'm 100% on board. Like, you've got to start it somewhere, and this perception that this is not cool is wrong. Being on YouTube, you get all of the comments, slurries of them, like, grow up, you're an adult, you're a child, whatever, and some of them are more hurtful than others, but, like, if you can grassroots this to the point where it's just normal that every college has a Nerf club, like, every college has a paintball team, I think that it would be so good for just the college culture that there was this this other thing, like everybody has a chess club that gets made fun of. Everybody should have a Nerf club where everybody is welcome. It's just nowhere near as fun nerfing by yourself as it is to nerf with other people. And so that's something that's worth fighting for and protecting. And the community is, is all encompassing and all welcoming, but we're also very protective of that big ideal that like, if you're not cool with everybody, you're not cool with anybody. The Nerf community is very welcoming and we'd love to have you.